Welcome to the vlog, ladies and gentlemen. Today's one of our favorite days of the year. Uh, if you guys follow our channel at all, you realize how much we are passionate about giving back. So today is the day that Casey and I, say hello Casey. Hello. We're here to do just that. Sheds for Santa is an organization that we've been supporting for a couple years. And today we get to go spend all the money that has been donated to help out 100 families this year. So Sawyer and his entire team of people had a goal to raise $50,000. And if you guys follow any of the social media platforms, I'm sure you've seen a lot of different sheds being auctioned off. We uh, were able to auction off a replica set of the Fireball that uh, Mountain Ops so graciously donated and bought those from us. And so in total, with all of your help, we were able to raise approximately 4,300 bucks, right? $4,400 is what we donated. But yeah, so we just wanna say this is, we try not to do this a lot, but this, today is a day to brag, okay? We're not gonna brag about ourselves, but we're gonna brag about you guys because you guys are awesome. You guys, anytime we ask for a little help to uh, raise some money to donate, you guys always jump on board and it's pretty pretty cool to see. So we just wanna tell you guys thank you and uh, we're gonna brag that we have the, some of the best followers in the world, for sure. I got my two boys with me. Say hi. 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 <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go buy for a family that's in, uh, that's falling on some tough times right now. But like Brian was saying, this is our favorite day of the year. One of our favorite days. Christmas is pretty good too. We talked about the three pillars of Hush, which is <laughs> conservation and our public lands. It's, um, giving back and it's new hunters acquisition so those are the three things that we really strive to do um on a daily basis with hush so this is just part of it and uh come along with us guys we got our christmas ugly sweaters on too so we are very festive we're in the spirit of giving it has been uh just starting to snow a little bit so the time's good it's a little cold out but we're gonna go have a ton of fun shopping you're gonna stick around and join us and again thank you for all of the support uh, as we help out these families what? <laughs> big group of people looking to help out What's up, man? What's going on? How are you? Good, how are good you guys? Good to meet you. Out here to help out? Yeah. It's a good turnout. Good for you, man. What's going on, big guy? How are you? Here's the man of the hour. Thanks so much for coming. How are you? This is the man. Say what's, what's up, up? What's going on, fellas? Going down and Sawyer and his wife are spent. How many hours? <laughs> Too many to count, man. <laughs> Thousands of hours. A lot of 2 a.m. Organizing this. So this is the guy that's behind all this. So. Appreciate work, you guys man. for all your help, man. It's uh, It's been cool. So no way. Happy good to help out. Thank you. Walk us through what happens. So you get a family. Inside this family is a list. Hold on, the wife's in charge. Take them, wear them. Also, Cabela's has coupons in there and you get some of the Cabela's stuff at cost if you want to shop here. There's little cards in there. So Yeah, grab a, grab a Sheds for Santa shirt and put it on while you're shopping. So that'll be cool. Um, anyways, coming back, you get this family. Inside here is the cash that you'll need. It's anywhere from like 200 bucks to 1,000 bucks and all the details for the family. So in there, you'll have the kid sizes, what they want, what they need. Do they need mattresses, beds? Do they want toys? And so you get to go shop for them all day. We come back here to Cabell's and we wrap and have lunch and then you get to go deliver it and that's the fun part. So that's awesome. Cool. So a couple quick questions. Yeah. How do we do on our goal? We just hit 50,000 this morning. Whoa. It's we just lot. got there. So 50 grand, how many families are we helping out? So today we're doing 50, um, and then over the next week we have another 50, and I'm thinking we're gonna have some leftover money, so we're gonna push for like 120. So it's 120 families that uh, need some help at this time, that we're gonna get helped out, that's pretty rad. It's, uh, it's gonna be cool, good work, dude. buddy. Thanks again everybody for all your support and donating money, uh, spreading the word, and Hi. we're gonna go do some shopping now, so it should be fun. All right, we just got the secret package. So when you get a family, here's what comes with it. You have a list of stuff, but more importantly, we have money to spend. Wow, we have all the Moonies. $400 to spend. Talk about uh, the different kids and what they want. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this and then uh, develop a game plan. You gotta have a strategy when you're shopping, you know? I'm glad I brought Brian with me. He's a strategic, I just, I'm not. I just randomly wander aimlessly, so. Brian's the plan man. First stop is completed. We were able to accomplish getting shoes for all the kids. 
So now we're headed to um, hell. <laughs> headed to Walmart. Not gonna lie, gonna be a little bit, uh, probably a little chaotic in Walmart. Going to be dodging lots of other people shopping. But you know but what? it's okay, because we are in a good place. Speaking Spiritually, of, we're in a good spot. Speaking on our behalf, we just conquered some unfamiliar territory for me and Brian. We went to a, what, what would that be a place be called? Outlet the, uh, Mall. Outlet Mall. And we conquered it. We did good. Skechers, thank you. Shameless plug, my wife works at Skechers. <laughs> They're very kind to us. Thank you Skechers for helping out. So we're gonna probably be able to fulfill the rest of this shopping list right here at, uh, at Walmart. And then we're gonna meet up with Ben Shed Crazy. He and his wife are gonna join us at Cabela's. Hopefully get all, all the gifts wrapped. And then our family lives in what? Southern Utah. So Ben and his wife are gonna be able to take all the gifts and actually deliver them to the family. So hopefully the logistics will all work out. We're gonna go knock out the rest of this list. Get more clothes for the kids, winter coats, some stuff for the parents, and any other things that we happen to see that look interesting that we should just throw in there. Here we go. Casey, please put one of those suits on and we will finish the episode. Okay. Gager, you wanna wear one? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, me and Brian, I think we're killing it right now. Look at these Christmas dresses we found. Adorbs, right? I mean, this has gotta be really new for Brian. I've shopped for my kids a little bit, but Brian's probably like, really getting overwhelmed here. Gager, what do you think? How are we doing so far? Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. Pretty good? So we have a tendency to go a little bit overboard. Whatever's on the list, we can basically triple it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna over exceed our budget of the $400 that we were given. We call Spear to bring some money. <laughs> we might have to call in a favor, but that's okay because we're having a good time. And so now we've moved on. We've got the little girls covered. So a seven year old and a four year old. I think they have about everything in the store. And now we're moving on to uh, twin infant boys that are one one year old a piece. So we're gonna try to find some stuff for them and then we're gonna move on to the parents. And I think we're done. So we're being pretty efficient, but the cart's getting a little full. Not this baby doll. We have uh, filled up two carts, folks. Getting a little carried away. Case, okay, so what do you think? What's your strategy on picking out a doll? I'm going for the most bang for my buck, so you can get a baby doll, or you can get a baby doll and a rocker. I hope Ben brought his trailer. <laughs> Help me understand, what is Paw Patrol? It's a cartoon, sorry. It's dogs. They're uh, superhero dogs, basically, and they save people's lives. I'm not up to speed on children's toys or cartoons, but I'm learning a lot this trip. I'm gonna go find Paw Patrol. We're finally done shopping. What do you think, Gager? I don't think this is going to be a little over $400. <laughs> Maybe Gage just said this This might take a while. Um, I think he's right. Got two full of carts. Casey's looking for one more little item. Yeah. And we're going to head back to Cabela's, meet back up with all the folks from Sheds for Santa, and start wrapping this stuff, which might take some time as well. But so far, we're having a good time. It's always fun helping others, and that's what this whole thing's about. We went way over budget. Way over budget, but you know what? It's okay. It is okay. We are going to make this one very special Christmas for this particular family. So throwing in a little extra gifts and money is a good thing. Wrap them in the wall tent. We're frying. That, folks, is what a good Christmas is going to look like. Hopefully they are uh, happy. I always say it, man, like it's fun to give back. And the reason why is because, you know, we all go through hard times for sure, falling, falling hard times. And I hope it inspires the kids maybe that if they're in a point or a position in their life that they can do the same. So um, it, yeah, it is a little overwhelming. We bought a lot of stuff, but hopefully it inspires them maybe one day that they can do the same for somebody else. I don't know. Made it back over here, buddy. to the headquarters. Right over there, and then on that side. We'll go to the cat drug in. 
just show up places, man. You're just like, oh, yeah, here's Ben. Oh, surprise. Surprise, like Ben. Like that crazy stalker we were in out of the corner. Like, hey, like oh, hey. can I be on your team? Uh, what's going on over here? Ben and his beautiful wife are uh, going to do probably the toughest part of this whole gig, and that is wrap everything we just purchased. And you're going to take it all the way down to him, right? I think that's the plan. Yeah, me and my little brother wanted to. You bring a trailer. I did. Full of antlers at the moment, but uh, oh, we'll, we'll do some results. Yeah, I'll you take some of those off your hands and then you can oh, take some of right? Yeah. So this is basically yeah. the, uh, okay, the so spot everybody takes their okay, gifts to, and then uh, they have all the good setups. So we can wrap, we got pizza. You name it. We have everything organized by child, person, and we're gonna just try to do as good a job as we can. So, a lot of work, but it's gonna be cool to get this to the family. I'll tell you everything. Then there's you guys need some help wrapping this stuff. Possibly. Okay. Okay. I'm ready to go. We're getting organized. Come back. Pretty darn cool. Are you doing all magic stuff? Yeah. Oh, We are, I think, officially about done. We had some very helpful Santa helpers that knocked out all this stuff. But here's kind of like the finished product. We had such a blast doing this. A big, huge thank you to Sawyer and Steve and the guys at Sheds for Santa and everybody that set up this event. It, uh, it's such a great feeling. Tons of people helping out and uh, pretty incredible, actually. So if you guys want to check out more about Sheds for Santa, we'll leave the link in the description box. If you want to watch last year's event, go watch this video right here. And if you want to see some other stuff where we've given back, you can go check out that video. So thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and we'll see you soon. Merry Christmas, everybody.